Well, hello everybody. Here's another 20 minutes or less craft. Um, I had some old wooden eggs I got from a thrift store. Um, I didn't remember what I was going to do with them, but I just found them in an old box. Uh, but you can do these with like your leftover plastic Easter eggs, um, styrofoam balls, uh, even Christmas ornaments that aren't quite looking as good as they did when you first got them. You can do this technique. So, <clears throat> the first one I did, obviously, I had uh, distressed some uh, book pages. Now, some of them were left over from the last couple 20 minutes or less crafts that I, videos that I did. Um, so I used some of them and then I also did some, or ripped some up that weren't distressed, just plain dictionary paper. So I did the one that's distressed and I think to be honest I could probably have thrown in some that weren't and it wouldn't look so distressed but other than that I think it's okay. Let's see. Let me get my rag. Okay. Dry this out. All I've got is Mod Podge and an egg. Okay. Um, you can seal the egg if you want. I didn't. I just put a liberal amount of Mod Podge on the egg and started layering. Now I did find that the smaller the pieces you use, the easier they are to lay down. And to make sure you overlap them really now, really, <laughs> rewind. Oh, that was good. Rewind um, really well because when they dry, they shrink. And then you end up with bare spots. So all I'm doing is systematically, see like right there is a bare spot. Just put that right over it. And it's going to be wrink lumpy and that's okay. Just to give you an idea. And we'll fix the lumps when it's semi or starts to semi dry. So that's all we're doing. Oops. And if you have some bare spots right off the bat, that's okay too. Because um, when we go in to fix the raised spots, that's something that will be addressed as well. See, so all I'm doing is taking the little bitty pieces and mod podging them all over the egg. Now, I did see this idea on Pinterest, okay? This is not my idea. It would be kind of silly to claim that it would be anyways because you can Mod Podge dang near anything. <laughs> so to just come up and say, hey, this was my idea, it's not very credible in my opinion. One of the things that I can't, oh, I can't stand is when people on... Uh, when they're doing videos and stuff, and they say, "Ooh, look at this! This is a great I this is a great thing to do, whatever," and they don't give credit or they steal credit. That's just wrong. I mean, it's not like you know we're. 
applying for the Nobel Peace Prize, but still, common courtesy. would dictate that you give credit where credit is due. And even if you don't know who did it, you can honestly say, hey, I don't remember where I got this from, or I seen this somewhere and I don't know where or who, or... I mean, gosh, you get a lot more respect for being honest than you would be for being underhanded and sneaky. And that's almost as bad as not saying anything. Well, not saying anything at all is almost as bad. You put it that way. Acting like it's your idea that you're playing off when you know daggum well it's not your idea. It's just wrong. And it makes you like lower than pond scum. In my opinion. So, steal an idea. Hope you choke on glitter. There. It's just, it's more... I don't know. It's just one of my peeves, I guess. But yeah. <sighs> Taking credit for somebody's idea. Okay. Is just bad form. So now what I'm doing is I pretty much got the egg covered. You see that? And it's still wet. You're going to have a little bit of dry, a little bit of um, bare spots. If you can see them, cool. If you can't, that's cool too. All right, but now we've got lumps and a wet egg. <laughs> a lumpy wet egg. All right, make sure all your edges are down as good as you can. And get out your heat gun. Oh. oh my gosh, I gotta tell you, I did this when I did the first egg. I forgot and I aimed the heat gun right there because I had the egg right here and my little pieces went poof. That was a nightmare. Oops. Now I'm not completely drying this. Because I don't want it completely dry yet. See what happens when you try to dry it and you pull your finger up? It pulls the papers up. Okay? Because it's really sticky right about now. A little bit more Mod Podge right there. Yeah, see my finger sticking and it didn't stick the last time. like the toilet paper and the Tombow glue. Oh my gosh. That was terrible. Put that down here. Okay. And if your fingers get sticky, just add a little bit of water. And then take your fingers, after you add a little bit of water, and if it starts to get sticky again, add a little bit more water, just to your fingers. Don't soak them, but 
There we go. All righty. All right, and you've got an egg. You can stamp on it after you're done. Um, you can wrap it in twine or jute or ribbon, however you want to do that. <sighs> Rinsing my fingers off. And you can like lay them in each in a little bowl. There we go. out and it's not quite done when it's completely dry I'll take some matte medium gel or you can use Mod Podge like I, I used matte medium gel on this and I I did one thin coat and you see how it smoothed all of the little bumps and ridges down that's what will happen with this one okay so that's that one, and we're already at 11 minutes. Okay, so that was just something I had. Like I said, you can use leftover um, plastic Easter eggs, anything you want. Okay, the next thing I had in that same box, I found an old picture frame that I didn't know what to do with. Kind of not my style. So I pulled it apart. Be very careful because that glass can still cut you. And decided I would do the same thing. Oops, lost my rag. Not very conducive to a 20 minute or less craft, huh? Let's see. I'm just... I'm folding it over the edge and you know what I mean like right there because uh, I can trim it off when it's done Let me get a piece that's not so and you can uh, Decorate the whole frame this way. Let's do it this way. And let's put little pieces. So we're managing to get two crafts out of this one, out of this 20 minutes, aren't we? Might take a little bit more than 20 minutes, but you know, hey, 20 minutes per craft and we've already got one done. And let's leave the smaller pieces for fill-ins. See, we're just filling in. Holding it over the back.
And that's all we're doing. We're just covering up this picture frame with uh, pieces of ripped up book pages, encyclopedia pages, and dictionary pages. Under there. There we go. And if you need to set it on something, well, that didn't work. <laughs> okay. And you just keep building it. Now you notice I took the uh, uh, the glass out, obviously, because you know you can make a big mess on the glass. lot of time just laying it down and doing it instead of trying to wing it. So I guess if we'd have just done one instead of the two, we'd had this done in less than 20 minutes or 20 minutes or less. But with the egg thrown in there. Yeah, we're right at about 20 minutes right now, so.
Oops. Oh, there's a piece of paper in here. But you can see how this will work. Oops. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm just having fun with this, aren't I? Making a mess and having fun. Now, if I can finish this up, minus the drying, because obviously the drying is not going to take. Very long at all, not with the heat gun. Of course, my finger gets sticky. And now I'm just filling it up, filling it in. Okay, that's off screen. That's okay. Now when it's done, okay, you can cover it with a matte spray. Um, Mod Podge, what I would do is I would lightly sand it, wipe it off, and then um, cover it with a matte spray. That's how I would do it. Sorry, I don't mean this to be off. Ready. That we're going to put right there. All right. And one little corner right here. And then we've got it completely covered. 
shuffle it over so you can see it. Uh oh, wait, no, 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 no. Well, it was completely covered. Okay, I missed a spot. But that's okay. I'll put it right here. And there we go. We have a book page covered frame that I missed another spot because I'm in a hurry and I'm looking at the clock. I shouldn't have done the egg with this, but hey, life is fun, but you get the idea and uh, let it dry and you'll be good to go. I will show you what it looks like when it's completely dry and I'll be right back. I'm just going to coat it with a coat of matte gel and then put it all back together. And okay, there it is. Let's see if you can see that very well. And on that note, I want everybody to have a great day and see you soon. Bye.